Firstly, I want to sincerely thank everyone for helping me reach 200 subscribers. I'm tremendously grateful for your support. Lore and Legends is set a year after Kratos and Atreus began their journey. Atreus mentions how Odin has now blocked off realm travel to all realms. This is likely so that Kratos and Atreus are trapped in Midgard more than anything. However, it got me thinking. While all realms have now been blocked off, Asgard, Vanaheim and Swartalfheim were blocked off years before our journey began. Meaning, Odin had other reasons to justify blocking access to these realms. What measures were taken apart from of course using magic to block access remain a mystery. Apart from Swartalfheim of course. You can find a scroll in the game which reads, The realm of the dwarves is secured. For a promise of security from the rovers of hell, they have made Asgard custodian to their borders. Now the Vanir will have no hope of Swartalfheim's aid, thanks to Odin's foresight. The elves remain sufficiently distracted. All plans proceed, the Raven Keeper. To sum up, Odin promised the dwarves protection from the army of hell in exchange of allowing the Asgardians to guard the borders of Swartalfheim. So excluding Vanaheim, Odin sealed off Swartalfheim in a manner which wouldn't be considered hostile as the last thing he would want is another race as a threat. But little did the dwarves know, the real reason was because Odin feared the Vanir would reach out to Swartalfheim to form an alliance, being a direct threat to the Aesir. Also, did you notice one very strange thing about this scroll? Why does the Raven Keeper decide to mention the elves at the end of the passage while he is referring to the dwarves? Initially you would think he is referring to Alfheim and how this could tie into this, but a conversation between Atreus and Mimir explains this. So, clear this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the dark elves. Right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. So basically the Aesir cannot distinguish between the dwarves and specifically dark elves, hence why the Aesir refer to the dwarves land as Swartalfheim, translating to land of the dark elves. I did a bit of digging around and this is actually Sony Santa Monica referencing a common debate in traditional Norse mythology. Snorri Sturluson, who wrote the prose Edda, was responsible for compiling Norse stories. Some believe he saw the dwarves and dark elves of the same race, while others believe this is not true. However, regardless of the uncertainty of the argument in traditional Norse myth, the game seems to imply the Aesir could literally not tell the dwarves from the Dark Elves, meaning they physically appear the same to them. There was also nothing I can find in traditional Norse myth that stated the Aesir couldn't tell the dwarves apart from the Dark Elves, so this is exclusive to God of War. While this is pretty humorous, Odin one of the strongest beings struggling with something so simple, I believe this could be more than just a reference and play into this story. Maybe dwarven magic has painted this illusion, let me know any theories you may have on this. Now onto why we would want to access Swartalfheim, I made a video addressing this whole topic, but to sum up, I stated we will likely go to Swartalfheim with the aid of Brock and Sidri to help unite Swartalfheim and Vanaheim, as this may be a crucial step to take down the Aesir. After all, it is confirmed Odin fears this very alliance, not to mention we have the whole of Asgard against Kratos and Atreus, especially after we killed some Aesir gods. We would need as much support as possible, come Ragnarok. The only way this alliance could take place is by exposing Odin's true plans to the dwarves and by bridging access from Swartalfheim to Vanaheim. But now we know even if we reach Swartalfheim, an Asgardian army will be waiting for us at the borders. I predict we will be tasked with uniting both nations while having an incredible battle at the border in God of War Ragnarok. But let me know your thoughts below, will we be successful in uniting Swartalfheim and Vanaheim, or will Odin stop us? It would be much appreciated if you considered subscribing and liking. If there are any theories you would like me to cover, feel free to comment them below or reach out to me on Twitter. Thanks again for the support lately. Take care.